Okay, if you've been regular yield farming, that is great. I love regular yield farming, but there is leverage yield farming where you can almost double, triple your gains sometimes. So today we're going to go into Alpha Homora V2 on the Phantom and Avalanche chain and show you some opportunities there, show you how to use it. Then we're going to jump in and kind of compare that to Beefy Finance to see if there's any opportunities right now because they fluctuate. And if you wait till the end, I'm going to share with you how to make 45% on UST. That's literally doubling what Anchor is making for you. What's up, everyone? This is Evan with Crypto Cash Camp. This is where we talk all about DeFi passive income, mostly in yield farming. That's what we get into over here. So if that's something you're interested, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you're interested in getting more updated content when it comes out four or five times a week. And uh, yeah, if you want to get deeper into yield farming, uh, click a link in the description. We're launching a, um, a master class. And that's going to be one of the biggest things that I'm putting together right now. So if that's something you're interested, click the link in the description to get early access. Huge discount. All right, so let's jump into this right now. So this is Alpha Homora. They do a lot of different things. Uh, this is their tokenomics. This is their XLab derivatives. V2 is really interesting. V1's on Ethereum. Uh, another V1's on Binance. But let's let's look for Alpha, Alpha Homora V2. So we're going to launch the app over here. And right now we see we're on Phantom Chain. So what this does is allows you to leverage your LP token. So an LP token is a liquidity pool token. Typically, you know, if I'm farming on Phantom, Phantom and USDC, I'm providing equal parts of both. But this allows you to provide that LP token and then borrow against it to actually increase your ability for yield. There is a liquidation rate, but if you find the right um, borrowing rate, your liquidation rate you know, ends up being potentially within your risk threshold, and it's a good play. So let's get into how we can actually use this. Um, just to show you what it looks like on the inside, I'm actually going to go over to Avalanche. So what you can do is some pretty interesting things is you can look at yield farming, um, my positions, which I have none right now. And this is very interesting. This is kind of like Kajara, that thing on Terra where it allows you to liquidate people. So this generous person put 164 bucks, um, and he's doing you know USDC and Avalanche. And when it, when his battery depletes, when he's at 100, percent you can liquidate, and maybe you'll get uh, you provide the you know the assets, and then maybe you get between a probably a two and a 10 percent discount on his money. But you got to beat the bots and do it. So I haven't ever seen any of these in active liquidation mode. But you might need the entire principle. So if the guy with 135k rolls around, you might need that much, or at least uh, get a flash loan. All right. This shows you all the different pools and the total lock value in them. Uh, that's interesting, but that's not exactly what we're looking for right now. We are going to actually look for what we can actually do when it comes to farming on this. So let's go view the pools right now. So this is a very interesting thing to see. Okay, this is how much you can make, 76%. Um, and this is USDC in Avalanche. So just to tell you, the yield farming, you're making this much. The trading fees, you're making 90%. And then you're actually borrowing some of the assets. So it is going to cost you a little bit. So 76, 79. Where was it? There's 80. Okay, 82 looks very good. And what I like to do is just take this over to Beefy Finance. And, and see if they can match that rate. Or they might kind of get 80 on beefy without any risk of liquidation. That would be great. But what I'm seeing is that I have some money at 60. So this would be a prime time to go, okay, well, if I can get something within my risk threshold and move this up from you know 57 to 80, that seems quite interesting. So what you do is you click on farm. And this is really interesting because you can provide um, certain amounts of UST or AVAX. Remember, you're going to get a bit of slippage, about half a percent of slippage. So, I mean, it eats away at your principal, which is not a great way to make money. But this is how you do it. Otherwise, you would actually just go to Trader Joe's and provide the UST and AVAX right there. So if we were to go to Trader Joe's right now, um, what we can actually do is just go provide a little bit of liquidity as long as um, it is still, you know, gas is still fairly affordable. So here I'm over at Trader Joe's. I am just looking for the UST pairing with AVAX, which is right here. Um, we see they're getting 33.59% UST AVAX. All right, we're gonna click on that. 
we're going to go over here to get LP tokens and we're going to provide let's just do this uh, for a sampler we're going to do point 0.1 here and then eight bucks there just to show you what this looks like we're going to prove that see how much gas on AVAX is 29 cents that's not too bad got to get the ledger out alright so just to prove the first little bit of it uh, and then we're going to it's proving the UST then we just click supply prove this transaction to confirm the supply Remember, I highly recommend ledgers I just love them uh, ledger treasure whatever you're into I just found out that uh, uh, ledger integrates pretty easily uh, gas fee is 0.1 so that's less than a buck you just confirm it and you know you know if you log into like a you know an ad that's really like you know Trader Joe's and you put in your you log in with MetaMask uh, they can drain your funds, but if you have a ledger, you always have to confirm with two touches. So I think I have a link in the description. They're coming out this sweet, cheap ledger. It's called the Ledger S X or something. It makes it so it's like the quality of this one for half the price. So that should be coming out soon. So check out for that. All right, let's see if we got that. Looks like it worked out. All right. So what we're now going to do is provide that LP token. All right, so we just go back over to Alpha Hamara because we know that this is Trader Joe's. It says somewhere Trader Joe's. So we've done that. We're just going to click Max, go to Next, and then this is where it gets interesting. This is the power of this. So remember, we're making 57% over on um, Beefy. We're trying to beat that. So if we go over here, let's swing it up to below 90% debt ratio, and then see what happens. Well, this doesn't give you the best information. So we're going to do this. We're going to keep it on basic. You can do advanced, but I'd rather just keep it on basic. And then we're going to go next. And then we're actually going to see our, our rates. We just hover over this little button in the top, and it goes, if the AVAX price is lower than $30, you'll get liquidated. However, the AVAX price is, um, you guys probably can't see that. That is teeny. But just this is the, it's so hard to find these little buttons. You know, it took a bunch of searching, but you just go, hover, look. And you can keep on doing this without even really having to commit. So you can keep like changing. There should be a better way to do this, but you keep changing the little bars. Uh, I won't get into expert mode. You need to really understand that. But uh, just keep it on basic mode to begin with, unless you really understand. Thirty bucks. Do I think AVAX is going to go to thirty? Be a huge buying opportunity if it does. If it goes to one eighty, that is quite high. So let's check that out real quick. We're going to zoom out of there. Um, we're going to go to coin market. We're going to see um, AVAX previous highs. So 80, we're going to go to all time. Mm, yeah, I'm pretty comfortable with that. It's an all time high of 130. It would literally need to more than almost double its market cap. So let's go back over here to Alpha Hamora and go, okay, 90%. I kind of, you know, just me being. Uh, how I am, I just kind of like to keep this around 90 or below. But if we were to even go back, we could be making an effect of 50%, which is, you know, gets me a little bit, you know, nerve because I can make 57% here with very little risk. So sometimes you find that this is a beneficial opportunity and sometimes not. So if we were to take this LP and crank it up to, ooh, we can't go over 100. See this over 100? Just back it back down to 3.5. Yeah, before it gets red. No one likes red. All right. Let's go to 3.92 at 3.2. We're going to go to next. 50.97%. Uh, 50, uh, yeah, that's interesting, but not, not amazing. Because uh, there's a huge borrow APY. And you can even get a little tricky if you wanted to go back. Um, and then start messing with... Oh, you can't actually do the supply... Uh, to expert mode oh here you go since we're not providing anything here I think you can just only do basic mode you can't do the expert mode of adjusting what do you borrow more of oh here you go so let's go to 3% or 3x and then we're gonna go to advanced mode and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna crank this down to 25 this up to 75 so when we do 25 UST and then 75% uh, uh, avalanche, we're going to see what happens over here. Now we're getting 67%. Okay, this is getting much better. 
and we hover over here to see our liquidation ratios. Oh, that's horrible. That's very bad. So 108, if you can't see that, let's just zoom in. You get liquidated when Avalanche hits 108, which it could happen, and then $5 on the UST. So now let's swap it around on the other side, meaning we're gonna go over here, we're gonna bring this up to 3X, and then we're gonna go 75%. 25%. Right, so just to run through this one last time, we are finding that uh, you know it really isn't that good to use Alpha Homora only in this case. Sometimes it's a, a great deal. I was seeing Alpha Homora at two or three hundred uh, percent when you pair AVAX with a stable coin. So that's awesome. That's definitely a, an opportunity right there. Uh, but let's go back and look over here. So we're going to click on. We see 83%. Um, we have an LP token. Sometimes you can zap it in like we said earlier. You just max this out. And if we wanted to go to the max amount of leverage we could before we were uh, potentially had too high of a debt ratio, which is over 95%, we go to next, uh, click on this little button on the top, and we're seeing, let me just zoom in for you, we're seeing that uh, with a liquidation of 34 um, for AVAX in an upper threshold of 47, which is you know pretty good, plus 47, uh, 74%, uh, we're seeing that you're getting 52%. That's just not worth it compared to Beefy. So always check Beefy is uh, the main point of this. I still haven't told you about the UST trick, but I do want to share with you Beefy, uh, the Beefy Beta V2. You click on this, and it is amazing. It allows you to uh, check all the different tokens. If you're looking at stable coins, you can look at stable coins on any chain that Beefy supports. And it just makes this very, very interesting proposition. And then you're looking over here. Wow, Japan with SGD. I think that's, I don't know. It looks like two Japan coins. And you look into that more. But 28%, that's pretty solid. Uh, and it just goes through. And you can even sort by APY. Filter. Sort by APY. Yeah, the Japan coin is the highest rated one, or highest APR at 28% with about a half a million TLD, so that's pretty darn good. And um, yeah, so you can just start sorting around this way, if we're there featured, um, it even shows you potential risk. It goes, actually shows you low risk, low risk, low risk. It's just great, like everything you wish the Beefy had is now it's great. Okay, so now let's get over to the UST possibility. All right, so we're over here in Alpha Homora V2. We're on Avalanche. Here's the button I didn't show you. It is called Lend. We click on Lend, Wow, it was just at 45% gain. Now it's at 37%, which is still 15% more than you're ever going to get on Anchor. UST, your APY is 37%. That is huge. Um, going down to USDC, it's 12, which is nice, not amazing. MIM is 12. Um, Alpha E, I guess their native token is 28. But that looks amazing to me. And we can even look over here at opportunities on Phantom for just straight lending. Because sometimes there's like different opportunities embedded in these different exchanges. So let's look over here. We got 22% on Phantoms, not great. 23% on uh, FUSDT is pretty darn good. And we'll just do, I know there's high gas fees, but sometimes there's some really good opportunities on Ethereum. And yeah, if you haven't liked this video, please do. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm just to get this out to more people. I would really appreciate that. ETH at 1%. Oh, yeah, these rates are horrible. So there's nothing in Ethereum. So, yeah, with that being said, um, Alpha Mora is definitely a huge opportunity. Just know that you should always compare it with Beefy to see if the rates are higher. When Alpha Mora says like 85%, sometimes it's really hard to get to that rate unless you're really tweaking with the, the leverage. And sometimes your liquidation rates will be very low and a little too risky. So let's just quickly do an overview on exactly what the possibilities are in Alpha Homora. Remember, opportunities change, and if Alpha Homora cannot be beefy, then it's not worth it. Just go to beefy, there's no liquidation risk. So we're seeing 83% on UST and Avalanche. So we're gonna go to farm that. Remember, you can buy a little LP, a couple bucks on each side. Uh, check it out. We're gonna leverage this to the point we can't anymore until it goes red, one step back. Um, and then we're going to click on this dot or just hover on that dot. And I'll zoom in for you to find out what is actually you're getting. So if Avalanche goes to 36 bucks, you're liquidated. If it goes to 
147 you get liquidated so that seems like a pretty comfortable range but look you're only making 52 percent so let's get out of here um, and then just look over here at beefy look you're making 56 uh, percent without any liquidation risk so if beefy beats alpha mora yeah that's a uh, it's not the best way to go. Remember, you, if you were to provide liquidity uh, separately with different tokens, you could really tweak uh, how much of each token you're supplying. Uh, if you even went here to increase liquidity to three and you did advanced, you could really tweak these around to figure out what exactly you're, you're wanting to provide, like how much of this, how much of that. So that's something in a little bit more of an advanced area. you got to have a good understanding of that to get there. But uh, let me just tell you about the stable coin strategy for 45% for UST. Hit like in the recording of this video, it went from 45 to 35. So let's just jump into it before it goes any lower. I lost it. So you click on lend. Uh, lend, the opportunity here is 37% with UST. Look, that's still, what, 15 17% better than Anchor. And Anchor's already great at 19.5. So possibility there? Uh, definitely. Uh, let's go to Phantom. There is a USDT opportunity in the Lens section of Phantom too, which is giving you 23.5. So anything over 19.5 at Anchor, look into it. Uh, so yeah, this could be another huge opportunity as well. So uh, check these two out. And don't forget, since we're on the topic of Beefy, to click this Beefy V2 beta button. And what it does, it tells you or allows you to see, you can just click on stable coins, click by APY, and you can see you know, by pairing two different stable coins, uh, two Singaporean stable coins, you're making 28%. Uh, Japanese coins, you're making 27%. So it's very, uh, very interesting right here. Uh, just to look at stable coins, and you can gauge uh, safety score on the top right, uh, the platform, the curve. It's just like everything you wanted Beefy to do. It's now there. It's still in beta, so uh, I don't, you know, know how trustworthy it is quite yet, but it's still. Still amazing product. Yeah, look at this, 14%. Tons of stablecoin opportunities. Featured opportunities, 28%. Cake, blue chips, what do we got? Synthetics and BNB. Yeah, so this is a great, great way of looking into it. But yeah, all in all, Alpha More is great. Always compare the yields to Beefy to see if you want to take on the risk. Leverage yield farming. Make sure your, you know, your liquidation points are are pretty far away from where you are, just so you can be in a good comfort zone and not have to worry about liquidation and gaining that huge AP, uh, APR APY. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you on the next video. Hit a like, uh, subscribe if you want to hear more videos shoot out about three or four a week and uh, ask me any questions you want in the comment section and check the link in the description for the mastermind. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.